Good morning, motor cars. Today is July 14th. I want to wish John, the Honda service manager, his two-year anniversary today. So if you see John, tell him happy anniversary. Um, today I want to talk about an exciting partnership we're having with Uber. So I think most everybody knows of Uber is the app that allows you to, I guess, get transportation. They're basically like a taxi cab company, but more modernized where they drive their own personal vehicles instead of um, a taxi company who rides a vehicle. So we're going to be doing a giveaway with them. We're going to give away a Honda Fit or a Scion IA. So the event's going to go for the next two weeks, um, mainly wrapped around the Republican National Convention. So Uber needs to get more drivers down there to take all of the people that are going to be in town for the convention. So each of their riders earn points for different trips and number of riders they take. So um, it should be a really good publicity for us. They're going to send out, you know, I think we get like seven text messages and emails to all of their drivers, which we had to sign a confidentiality agreement with Uber, but it's unbelievable how many drivers they have in the Cleveland market. Um, so it should be, you know, great publicity for us. Uh, they rented a building downtown right by Burke Lakefront Airport. So they're going to have, you know, free water and drinks and food for all of their drivers. I think they have a band there one day. Um, so what we're going to do, Brian Zent had a great idea. We're going to set up a mini express detail tent there where their drivers can come in and we're just going to do quick details, wipe, the, wash the car down, vacuum the inside out and put them on their way. So it's going to give us some great exposure. We're going to have our, the two cars will be wrapped and parked out front there. Um, We'll have you know service coupons, car wash coupons, sales flyers. You know we promote the body shop, mobility, um, and it's going to be over. I think it starts on Sunday and goes through Thursday. Now the cool part is they're going to have the actual giveaway event at the dealership. So I'm not sure if it's going to be at the Honda store, or the Toyota store yet. But again, they're going to be bringing a bunch of people in, um, a lot of their drivers. It's going to be hopefully on some of the media out there. Um, the other neat thing is that we're going to have a year-long partnership with them. We'll be on their website for all their drivers um, to get discounts for service or car washes, uh, for uh, any different things that we offer. So on their actual app when they're driving, it'll show our dealership and the downtown location um, where they can get work done. The other bit of it is we're going to be working with Uber and a, a bank they have a partnership with called Exchange. Exchange, I guess, has given Uber a billion dollars. So Uber's biggest problem is, is they don't have enough drivers in the area. So and drivers have to have certain types of cars to qualify. It has to be so new. It has to be certain models. Um, I can't, you know, can't be pulling up in there in your 1978 Buick um, and jalopping people around. No offense to anybody that has a 78 Buick. Um, so they have to be newer vehicles. So. What Uber is going to do is through Exchange is they're going to be basically leasing their potential drivers' cars. So we're going to be partnered with them. So the if you know you go to Uber to become a driver, they say oh, your car doesn't qualify. They then say you need to go to one of our approved dealers, which right now there's only two other dealers and us for Hondas and Toyotas in the area. So hopefully, being their premier dealer, we'll be ranked number one on their website and they'll send them to us. So we'll then, uh, they'll be pre-qualified, we'll do the paperwork, we send the driver off on the car, they drive the car for as long as they like, and they give Uber a two weeks notice when they're done, they say, we're out, we don't wanna drive anymore. The customer then, or the driver then, turns the vehicle back into us, we recondition it and service the vehicle, store it until the Uber sends in their next driver that wants the vehicle. So. Uber then takes the money out of the driver's weekly pay earnings out of their paycheck. So it's a great deal for people that maybe couldn't have gotten into a new car. Uber's doing it where they're giving them unlimited miles. Um, they pay us to do all of the recon and service work on the vehicle. So they're, you know the driver should be happy, we should be happy. Um, so the you know overall, I think we have a you know a really exciting, um, hopefully next 12 months uh, with Uber in this partnership and should bring us all a lot of business and a lot of exposure. So if anybody has any questions or comments, please let me know. Other than that, hope everybody has a great day and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.